I probably said the same thing Amy said. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh -uh. Well. Well, thanks for coming That's out it. and supporting right. everything. Great. Yeah. You can. You good? Big things coming up. Should we start? Are you, are you guys start? having oh. fun hijacking the Oh, I didn't know you were. Oh, he's oh, here. oh wait. I... Ladies and gentlemen, the star of Chuck, Zachary Levi. Almost forgot about you. Oh, I, I completely just slipped I my could, mind. I could, I could see how that could it, happen. It slipped, hey, man, it you slipped know, my they, mind. They just told me that I Yeah, no, I totally you, understand, Jerk. Thanks for coming, uh, Zach. Oops. I'm looking out for you. <laughs> I heard That's star. I was doing. I, that was awkward. Good morning, everybody. <laughs> we thought this might be a little funner for you. You think it's kind of fun? Yeah. Also, I have no voice, so they're going to be taking a lot of the bond. I mean, I'll be like, signing for him. They'll be, uh, yeah, and I, my hands are also on a not functioning correctly, so they'll be signing for me today as well. Uh, I came in my joke. pajamas. <laughs> hey, um, uh, hi. <laughs> This was totally, by the way, uh, impromptu last minute, and uh, I'll say, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I was having an amazing no, dream. You know, it's funny. <laughs> <laughs> I, I remember getting that look at three in the morning. You don't have to come. You don't. You know, just it's completely optional. <laughs> was your I arm thoroughly twisted? And did we like, twist oh, oh, oh geez, oh, right. we would come for you. Uh, hey, uh, uh, who's who's been to some some conversations so far at the Nerd HQ? R round of applause for that. Thank you guys so much. Uh, and for those of you who are here for the first time, uh, you're going to hear something that I've been saying in every conversation. So for those who have heard it, forgive me, bear with me. Uh, ditto. Uh, so. If you guys don't already know, if this is your first conversation for a cause, I just wanted to create something that was a, that was a little bit, uh, just a little bit, o bit off the beaten path. I wanted to give something that was a really fun, intimate Q&A where you guys didn't have to necessarily wait in a long line. Although, thank you to every one of you who, uh, those that I met in the line at four in the morning and those that spent all their time for the Chuck panel. If you guys were at the Chuck panel, uh, that's intense. That's intense. I mean, sleeping on concrete and sleeping bags is, uh, that's, that's gnarly. You guys are committed. That's super. That super was me good. right after college. <laughs> <laughs> For the Stones tickets? Yeah. Come on, man. Jagger's going on. Um, but at any rate, these things for me are, are really fun and they're really special because I just, I, I think it's all about you guys. I think Comic-Con's all about you. I think the shows that we do are all about you. You are our producers, you know, it's it's you watching us and believing in us, and uh, we are a living testament to that. We've been able to go five years now, five solid seasons, and it's all because you've fought so much and you've been so passionate. So, I wanted to be able to give you guys something back, and I thought an hour Q and A, that's totally off the cuff with no moderator, where anything can happen, is kind of <laughs> is kind of fun. And all the while, we get to have fun. We get to have this. Again, off the cuff ridiculousness. <laughs> this guy. Uh, I'm just going to sleep. And and so for all of us to <laughs> get out of here, for all of us to have a special experience, and for that all to be culminating in raising thousands and thousands of dollars for Operation Smile, give yourselves a round of applause for that. That's a that's a stout clap, Josh. That was really I like that. Do you remember like learning how to clap early and like really learning how to make it the loud clap? Because you know it used to be like ah just a stupid little kid clapping like this, yeah. and then you found a way to cup it. You find that like, pocket. Ooh, yeah, you find pop. that nice pocket. I got the pop now. Yeah, I remember that when I was little. <laughs> you sit around thinking about this, don't I you? Do. I do. I do. Wait a minute. Yeah. Um, uh, are, you, are you guys still waking up a little bit? Is it still kind of early for you? <laughs> no? Are you guys jazzed to be here? Yeah. Well, you better be. <laughs> we were sold out. And then some more you guys got to come in. How fun is that? <laughs> it's like, that's the sold out section right there. It's like, we made it. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you for lining up. I, I, uh, I guess there still was kind of a line, wasn't there? But hey, but, but manageable, but manageable, and all for charity. So thank you so much. And thank you for uh, every single nerd shirt, every single nerd machine shirt, every hat, uh, every way that you guys have supported us as a company, all of our volunteers. Thank you guys so much, Summer. You're awesome. Seriously, how about a round of applause for them? Too?
Uh, the Nerd HQ, obviously, this is the first year we've ever done it. It's, it, it's, been, it's been gnarly, to say the least. There are, you know, it's a really small group of us that work at the Nerd Machine and those that have come alongside us to help accomplish this. And as all people that believed in the vision, from everyone around us and my friends and family to Break.com and, and Xbox, Microsoft, all those guys, I just can't even, I can't, and, and to the world, thank you guys for watching online. Thank you for watching these streams. I hope you've been, been appreciating them. Um, so I'm going to stop waxing philosophical and kissing my sponsors' butts, and I'm going to uh, and uh, open it up to whatever you guys want to ask. Don't, don't all ask at once. Uh, yes, Summer. <laughs> yeah, wait for the mic. Otherwise, there's no way I could possibly hear no. you. <laughs> not, not with the voice of me getting here, but um, uh, it, it's kind of an all question. Um, when you're becoming celebrities and you see yourself in other people's pictures and, and you know they're posting your pictures as their avatars on Twitter and things like that, when you first saw someone using yours and talking to you on Twitter or you know on a fan site or something, how, how does that feel? Is it kind of weird at first and then it's just awesome or is it awesome from the beginning? <laughs> when, when you're seeing someone speak to you with your face. Well, Adam Baldwin is currently tweeting right now, so <laughs> I think... <laughs> I've been known to tweet. <laughs> yes, I'm letting them know. That, I'm letting them know it's live on you stream. You know, there might be people. Oh, no, no, no! Oh my God! Come on! I'm just giving you crap. I love that you're tweeting. Come on! It's interactive. It's fantastic. Oh. Bye, Adam. Uh, oh, don't! No, no! Don't feed that. Don't encourage that. I'm a victim now. Um, I'm a victim now. Uh, you. <laughs> um, uh, I. Yeah, you know, Twitter. I, tw well, look, I've talked about this a little bit before already, but. Twitter is incredible. I think Twitter is incredible. I think it's so powerful. I think that we're able to do everything we've done this weekend because of Twitter, you know, and, and, and Facebook and various other social networks and stuff like that. So I definitely believe in the power of it. Um, you know, I think as a celebrity, I, you know, there is, there, there is a, a very interesting relationship that you have with your fans. I mean, and everybody's different. I would, I would really, really encourage you guys. You know, I, um, I've, I've had people tell me before, like I was signing an autograph with someone at a premiere once, and they said, hey, man, I really appreciate it because, you know, so-and-so never took any time with us. And I, I just would really encourage you guys to know that everybody's on a different journey. You know, everybody's had a different day. You never know whatever they've been through that day. A lot of celebrities, when they come down to Comic-Con especially, it's crazy down here. It's, a, it's, it's, a, it's an awesome crazy, but there's a lot of fans, and you guys are all concentrated in one place, and we got to go from a hotel room to a panel to another thing to another press thing because we all got to keep you know, promoting our shows and stuff like that. And if you go, hey, hey, can I get a picture, and they can't because they're being escorted by security or their publicist or whomever, just know that that's the journey that they're on right then. And if, you got, and they, if they have the time, if they have a moment with you later, then that's special and that's cool. So I would, incur I would say that first and foremost. And then for everybody who interacts on Twitter, I always encourage people to. I think it's awesome. I think it's awesome. I think it's, um, it's a really cool way to, I mean, you know, sometimes it's tough to express a thought in 140 characters, but uh, sometimes it's also really easy too, you know? Um, so I think it's fun, and I, and I hope that you guys have had fun with me on Twitter, or Josh, or Adam, or Mark, or anybody else. You know, it's a, it's, it, it's a really cool way where we can talk to you, and you can talk to us, but, you know, everyone can, can keep living their lives and all that stuff, too, you know? Uh, I don't even know if that answered your question. <laughs> That's strange. I particularly like the avatars where someone is hugging me <laughs> from a convention or a meeting where there's a picture and they put that up. So that's not, I can see myself and the person. It's a good reference point. And, and Zach's, Zach's right. We just got to drive forward in, in a lot of these places. So if I'm just walking by, I go, no, no pictures now. I'm not blowing you off. I'm just I'm doing my job yeah. while I'm blowing you off. <laughs> <laughs> so I apologize. And they still love her. And they still cheer. <laughs> Adam Bowen blew me off! <laughs> Yay! By, by the way, he blows us off all the time, so it's, <laughs> it's no difference. I, I haven't actually had that. It's, it, it, the only people use that little, there's a, somebody drew a picture of Big Mike, and so I get that one a lot. It's like, it's not actually a picture of me, it's like a cartoon character. <laughs> so so I, I think it's funny. So. <laughs> Aren't we all just cartoon characters, Mark? Well, at apparently. the end of the day, I mean, a little bit. <laughs> Yes, you right there in the fantastic Newsies cap. Uh, there, oh, or, there you go, sure. Kind of lost 
convoys. Uh, oh, hey. Gone. Yeah, convoys. Yeah. Yeah. Convoys. Con. It's like a couple of that with pudding face, and you got something going. It's like kettle, kettle cough. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, so much of uh, what's really, really great about the show, besides how great the actors are and the writing, is the relationships and that they're tender and funny and uh, real. And so how much do you guys get to individually affect, like, you know, uh, the, give the writers, like, things from your own personality or experiences, like, with each other? And is there, like, a specific thing that, like, each of you said, oh, my God, my character has to do this because we just did such and such backstage or whatever? You know, that kind of thing. What, what, what did we do backstage? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> So listen, remember. Schwartz, uh, Josh and I... <laughs> I just... <laughs> oh, my God. We would like to, yes, refresh well, your did, recollection. I had no... Um, you should put those away before they're found. Um, uh, yeah. <laughs> um, uh, no, you know, I, I think in, in the pilot episode of any, of any television show, you, we, we, have a lot of, we have a lot of, you know, input. Uh, and, uh, and the writers are... Well, in, in, in the pilot, it's just, you know, whoever created the show. So it was just Josh and Chris Vidak that, uh, and during that time. And it was really awesome. They were with us every day. And uh, I think I talked about a, a little bit about this in the panel. I think somebody asked that. But um, so you do have input for sure, you know. Uh, but the writers are in the writer's room breaking stories nonstop. They know who you are. They know what you bring to the episodes, you know, week in and week out. So they try to integrate that stuff as much as they can, I think, for sure. I mean, he's basically Morgan. I don't know if you know this. I don't anybody... <laughs> He dresses up in captain's outfits and comes in. <laughs> a few years ago. A few years ago. And I, and I just suddenly grew up. Yeah. <laughs> Running so, sexy parties. That's right. Yeah, exactly. you, guys, you guys have anything to say to that? To her question? I, well, the, the writers are very good at, 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 at uh, zeroing in on what your strength is as an actor. Um, f because for me, it's like I, I've noticed that my funniest stuff, I really didn't have to do much except for say the words. You know, so, which is pretty good. Because yeah. <laughs> that's the challenge a lot of times. <laughs> what did he write? <laughs> you do get a lot of tongue twisters, though. I will say that. It's like, it's, it's never just like a couple, of, it's like a paragraph. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and it's full of like red leather, yellow leather. You're like, why? why how does that pertain to the buy more? I have no idea. <laughs> Rubber sick, with six bumpers. names included. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and uh, sandwiches. Savannah, yes. Oh, can we get a mic to Savannah? Hi, uh, Hi. I was just uh, wondering if you guys had any cool uh, stories from like what happened like off screen or anything, any funny experiences you guys have to share? Josh. <laughs> you want me to share that? Yes. Oh boy. So uh, I think it was, it was probably season one, right? It's been, it's just. Are we talking about the number two? Yeah. <laughs> Number two during Wait, the he number one. About that. Number season one. I think that, that were you guys here for the Firefly conversation at all? It's it's come up. It's come or up. Out. It's, it's and out. out. Yeah, yeah. No, continue. A yeah. lot of people haven't uh, heard uh, this story. So this will be pleasant for you, and <laughs> hopefully you've had breakfast. Um, so I, you know, you, you get called from your trailer. You go in, you shoot the scene, and it can take you know any number of hours. Uh, and you kind of go, oh, you get a break. You got 15 minutes. You got 20 minutes. You go back to your trailer. Go back to your trailer, and you're, you expect it to find it the same way. It didn't happen, because I, I opened up the door, and it was, whoa! It was August, and this... Yeah, yeah, aw. Uh, um, no, well, no, well played, sir. I, I, I... It was, uh, it was, it solidified our friendship. I mean, it, it solidified something, but... Uh, but the funny thing was, you had, it was you had a loose affiliation before that. <laughs> the funny part was that uh, it was I was kind of prepared because it was Yvonne who came up to me and oh, she totally blew it. Yeah, blew it. She, she totally had no blew idea it. this is how it, that this is a, this is how it works on sets, especially in America and so, and especially between men. You dump in each other's trailers. It's like a it's like a very primal. You beat on your chest and then you go poop in your friend's trailer. I don't, it's. I don't know where it started, and I, and I don't want it to end, but this was not something Avon was privy to. So, of course, she comes up, and she's like, um, Gomez, what, what did I do? Did you know that Zachary, he, he, he pooped in your trailer? 
I'm like, oh, fun. She's like, I know, it's Nick. No, you're not supposed to tell me. I'm, I, that's, supposed to, that's supposed to catch me, but I'll, still, I'll act surprised. I'll, I'll, oh! There you go. That Stupid was... foreigner. Yeah. <laughs> but you know, oh, come on. She's gorgeous. Um, yeah, right. Um, uh, y- y- she actually caught me. I, oh, that's she, I was walking out of your trailer. <laughs> I think you might, you guys might have shared a trailer that year or yeah, something. Yeah, but I was, yeah. I was. Uh, no, no, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Yeah, no. yeah, sure. Yeah. Go with it. <laughs> no, but you know what's great about Yvonne is she's she's got a sense for for pranks and practical. She knows something. What's up? She'll, she'll read your face and go, you did something wrong, didn't you? Yeah. <laughs> she, she's got a, just a, an Australian sensibility yeah, yeah, that I love. She, her naughty meter is up here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. But she watched, yeah, she, she caught me sneaking out of Josh's trailer or his half of the trailer or whatever. And uh, she's like, what did you do? What are you doing in there? That's Josh's trailer. And I said, I, don't, I may or may not have just crapped in his toilet. <laughs> and I'm leaving it there. <laughs> Don't say a word. And of course, then she runs and tells you. Just, you know. You know, actually, uh, oh, and, and I kind of mentioned this when, when Adam had told us, but part of the fun of it is that, you know, uh, as Chuck, I'm, I'm pretty much at work all day, every day. Sometimes Josh doesn't work for four days. <laughs> so sometimes poops will sit in his toilet for four days. It honestly only went like back and forth one time and we were like, this is way too rancid. We can't do this anymore. Really Let's just leave each other little candies. That'll be much, much more hygienic. And, and, and what, funny enough, the re- how I got that idea, apparently, this is a famous story, apparently, Rue McClanahan used to show up for work at the Golden Girls and there would be a crap in her toilet. In her, it, no joke. And I, I, apparently, it was Betty White who you, it was the culprit all those years. <laughs> I'm telling you, one of the funniest people alive, uh, obviously. Yes, uh, the adorable little blonde back here. Stop talking about poop! <laughs> or, or, do you have more poop stories? That's what's getting you right now. Everyone poops. A uh, one cup, uh, uh, never mind. <laughs> no, everyone poops. A one, a one hump camel has a one hump poop, and a two hump camel has a two, two hump, hump poop. poop. No, yeah. come on. Please, it's a great book. It's a good read. It's quick. Yes, what is your name and what is your question? Um, my name's Darian, and um, if you're such a big gamer, will you try, try to help and try to make a Chuck game? Well, thanks for backing me into a corner. Um, I, I'd love to. For a, you're adorable. B, great question. C, I would love to have a Chuck game. I, uh, honestly, I, I, I love games. I love, I mean, you know, please, there's no, there's no uh, uh, question about that. I, um, I've often wondered how the Chuck game would be. What do you guys think? I mean, it's not going to be an FPS. It, it, could, it could maybe be something that's, that kind of lives in the world of like, um, like oh, oh, Chuck Lego would be a lot of fun. Yeah, that'd be fun. That'd be fun. It's, oh, man, those Star Wars Legos games were so awesome. Not to, not to tangent on the Star Wars, but why not? Um, oh, Mark Hamill's going to be in our first episode back. How cool is that? So killer. <laughs> so choice. Um, but yeah, I think that, you know, or maybe like in the Uncharted world or something like that, where it's kind of a third-person adventure. You're running around and doing things and flashing and kung fuing, even for Morgan now. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Yeah. And then round off uh, flip flops. I want to see these do tumbling runs. That'll be great. Oh yeah, that would be my little power. Yeah, well, uh, <laughs> tumbling runs. Yeah, tumbling runs. And then, oh, you're, wow. like, you're like you're like Mary Lou Redden. It'll be great. <laughs> Put you on a balance beam. Uh, I've gotten two right here in the middle. Let me try and get one over here, right there. Oh, hey, Matt. <laughs> hey, um, are you gonna slip any more nerd machine references like you did in that Chuck vs. the Left? What's it? Leftovers. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Are you talking about, are you talking about our little robot that was yeah. on the laptop? I'm glad, you, I'm, I'm glad you saw it. That was a fun... Yeah, so... I like Easter eggs, right? I love playing yes. video games and finding little fun Easter eggs and stuff like that, and I love them in television shows, and 
Um, yeah, that was just a fun. I mean, we were that was like when we were first kind of starting the company, and I and uh, I just thought it'd be kind of a fun little thing to put on there. There might there might be, you know. I I, I don't want to be too like obtuse about stuff, you know. I, I definitely think that. Um, you know, Chuck is the world of Chuck, and the Nerd Machine is the world of the Nerd Machine. And I, I don't want to be stepping on anybody's toes or whatever. But if Warner Brothers was like, "Hey, we'd love to, you know, put Chuck in a nerd shirt," I'd be like, "Well, I would love to do that. That'd be fantastic." Uh, or put it on the Big Bang Theory, whatever. I, I don't care. You know, I'm not picky. Um, but yeah, uh, yes, right there. First of all. Thank you for doing this. Um, You're welcome. Thank you for coming. Yes. And um, <laughs> um, I was wondering, uh, what was, uh, um, what, uh, was there anything to that, uh, uh, um, to that one uh, uh, beginning and end of uh, that one episode where you wanted to show Sarah uh, Final Fantasy II for the Super Nintendo? Oh, w w was there a beginning and end to that? I mean, of one of the episodes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, the whole idea was that I was super stoked to play uh, Final Fantasy II with her, my old SNES. Um, ah. Right? Well, that was more NES. That was more NES. You know, I used to convert, I used to convert uh, Super Nintendos back in the day. I was like, I don't know, 12. And I used to take a screwdriver. I had like kids in my apartment complex and I'd convert their, their boxes so they could play Japanese titles in the States. It was pretty fun. You'll, all you had to do was knock out these two little, like, little wedges in the back. It was so simple. And you could, of course, you couldn't understand anything going I, on in the game. I, but I remember that. Yeah, but the Final Fantasy II thing was a really fun, again, like just a little fun little moment that the writers put in. And I love every time they, they go back to the gaming stuff. I know Josh and I loved it in the beginning of uh, when we started the show that, you know, we, we had a lot of fun references and stuff like that. Um, but of course, as the spy world took over, then the gaming stuff kind mm. of, you know. But. It's always cool. It's always fun when, uh, like, even when uh, Sarah tied me up and all the different uh, controllers and it was tons rather you know it was like uh, oh. you know it's a sure. NES gun you and love she, that yeah. oh time you know me going up back to sharing a I trailer love. with her oh put these around me <laughs> he slept in it that night he didn't even leave set it was weird uh, let's go over here let's go over here let's go over here who's got like a, just an amazing question just like him why did, why did your hand go down that's amazing every time we do that it's like it's like who's got an amazing question people are like oh, mine's not so great I don't know uh, right here, right there. I mean, you got a friend literally like giving you love right now. Like, pick on her. Make it good. Okay, I've, <laughs> I've always wanted to know. It's for Zach and Josh. Do you ever look back at your hair, especially in season two, and just <laughs> no, <laughs> and just cringe? I mean, it was it was kind of bad. I got to be honest. <laughs> oh, I thought she was going. I thought we were going to different. Well, I thought she was going to say go back. The bowl cut, and then I don't know what was season. I don't oh, know but what that you'd was call it, <laughs> security. <laughs> security. Security. Come on. You guys like Bunk Wee Wee? You ever seen Bunk? <laughs> Angela Johnson is hysterical. Her nail salon routine is ridiculous. Um, that's how I avoid that question. Uh, no, no, no. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. No, it's 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 it is pretty funny. I mean, our our. You can track the seasons of the show based on our hairdos. It's ridiculous. <laughs> Everyone else remains pretty constant. And like Chuck and Morgan, like... <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know. Honestly, my hair was just a giant mop for a season. And I was like... And we end up doing, you know, fighting scenes. And, uh, 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 you know, I'm running and running and running or whatever. Or it's a really windy day. And, uh, and we'd have to go back to one and do another take. And it, it would take like... <laughs> An hour and a half just to put all the hair back together. I'm like, this is, I can't, this is. Ridiculous. At least you have hair. Amen. <laughs> Don't. Yeah, but you're easy. I mean, come I'm on. I'm glad That's to have like... bad hair. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, to, to, but you prefer the latter hair is what you're saying. You prefer the hair now. Okay, I, I, I'm dying to figure this out. If you, if you like, okay, where do we start? Okay, if you agree with this young lady, do, if you like the latter hair, show of a, uh, 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 round of applause, round of applause, if you like the latter hair. <laughs> If you like the original hair, a round of applause. <laughs> new hair, new hair, new hair. Old hair, old hair, old hair. New hair. 
Okay, Oz. great. Now you all got to go fight it out in the parking yeah. lot. That's, that's what you're going to That's too close to call. Uh, yeah, you, you, you right there, right with the, yes, you, uh, yes, what, the one that just said me. Yes, you. <laughs> no, no. Um, I do have a question, but first, I need to thank you. Uh, a couple days ago, one of my friends actually found you outside the Nerd HQ and had you sign a bag for me while I was en route from Detroit here to San Diego. Do you remember that at all? I, 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 I don't, but, but, oh. but, 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 oh, but, but, man, but. Dude, that's just it. No, 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 but, I, I, but, but, but thank you. You're, it was and you're so surprise. welcome, and you're so it welcome. It was a surprise. Yeah. Calling, getting the call from my friend. Oh, by the way, guess what I just got to sign your truck bag? Shut up. <laughs> Shut up now. You're lying. <laughs> but, um. It totally made my year. I've Absolutely, been yeah. so much crap this year. Grandma died. Um, oh, I'm money so, trouble. So, I'm sorry to hear that. Lot. And I and I'm I'm glad that you could be with us this morning. Oh, dude, I don't care if I put myself in the red. I had to be here. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, my question is actually about Nerd Machine. Now that the show is ending, which by the way, thank you to the cast for giving us like a mental repeat, reprieve on Monday nights. You're welcome. And, but soon to be Friday awesome. nights. Soon to be Friday nights. Oh, well, Friday. Yeah, Whatever. Yeah. It's, a, it's a mental reprieve from the work day. Come on. Exactly. There you go. Um, but now that the show is ending, are you going to focus more on the nerd machine or are you going to just continue to further your career? I, I think, uh, uh, excellent question. Thank you. Uh, I, I think they're kind of one and the same to me. You know, I... Uh, I, I, I'm an actor. I love acting. I've been acting since I was a kid. Uh, I love directing. I've loved directing episodes on the show. I get to direct one more of the season, which uh, I'm excited about. I want to keep, I want to write, I want to produce, I want to do all those things. And I believe in, um, you know, having an entrepreneurial spirit and a philanthropic spirit. And so I just want to keep moving forward and keep being as dynamic as I can be as an individual. And I think that if I can build a nerd machine, uh, that is good for my career. And, uh, because what I want to do with it ultimately, and forgive me if this turns into a long-winded answer, but, and I've talked to, I, if, you, if you guys have been here at the HQ any of these nights where like at the Tweet Up or at the Nerd Party, I've kind of stopped in and talked a little bit about it. It's been brief, but, you know, I look, I, I want to build a movement, you know? And these t-shirts are not just fun and cool and stuff that I really like and, and I like doing and, and I like doing for you, but I love seeing the movement. I love seeing a com a people at Comic-Con walking around wearing nerd shirts as a connection to me, you know? It's like this really cool, like, you know, you, you know, and a lot of the people who wear them are all at the nerdmachine.com and they're hanging out in the chat rooms or the forums and discussing ideas or whatever. You, anybody here uh, at the nerdmachine.com, do you guys spend time there? Thank you very much, thank you, thank you. We wanted to, we wanted to create this kind of hub for all things nerd, you know, but uh, so much of what I want to do with that, you're gonna be next, you can put your arm down. I, I feel like she's literally got an arm in a sling and her friend holding up the other arm. Please, re relax, enjoy. Um, uh, but yeah, you know, I, I, I wanna, uh, this is kind of something I touched upon the other night, but look, I, I think we're moving into a brave new world. I, and I think it's awesome. I think that, you know, for a long time, there were a very limited few uh, people who could produce, distribute, and market content, you know, films and television. And they've done a tremendous job doing that over the years. But now with technology where it's at, and I am a huge technology nerd, I love technology. You know I love technology, but not as much as you and me. Um, Napoleon Dynamite, anyone? Uh, but so, so I look at technology and I look at entertainment and I look at how it's all converging and I think, wow, we're gonna look at some really, really cool stuff in the next two, five, 10 years, you know? So what I wanna do is I wanna be able to give shows like Chuck and Firefly, and I kinda talked about this the other night, there's no reason why we should be on a chopping block anymore. There's no reason why we can't put the power of the, the, the livelihood of these shows in your hands firmly because you have the power already. Look, you guys went and bought Subway Sandwich. Well, those, who, those of you who did, when we did the footlong finale campaign. <laughs> you know, A, thank you guys so much for doing that. That was literally one of the coolest and, and, and most innovative fan campaigns that ever I had ever heard of. And Wendy Farrington was a huge part of that. I don't know if Wendy's in here right now, but... Um, but I was looking at that and I was looking at how people were going and buying sandwiches and you know, oftentimes if you're going to Subway, you're buying a drink and some chips too or whatever, you're, you know, you got your whole meal and that's like, I don't know, seven bucks. That's seven bucks, you, you, were, you were willing to pay seven bucks to keep a show on the air. So if somebody said, if Chuck, I don't know, if Chuck was online, if all of a sudden we were to say, hey look, Chuck's not gonna be on TV anymore, but we'll, we, we can make it online and we're gonna sell it for two bucks an episode. Would you guys buy Chuck for two dollars? 
And that's what I and that's what I'm saying. That's what I that's what I want to do with the nerd machine. I I don't know if it's going to be Chuck. I think that you know uh, that would be a very complicated situation. And we and I think that we've we've had a really awesome life and we've had an awesome life with you guys. I don't know what the future holds, honestly. But I just use that as an example. If Firefly, if you guys could have Firefly right now, if you guys could have Jericho, if you right, you know what I mean. If you could have all these shows that for so long, because of whatever the model is right now with television, which by the way, and you, and you, and you guys have to know, you know, when networks take uh, your your favorite shows off, you don't, please don't hate on them. You know, they have a certain revenue model that they have to meet, and if it doesn't work out then they have to make decisions that they have to make. But if all of a sudden now, because we can, we can produce our own content and we can distribute our own content over this interweb, and, and we can market our own content with Twitter and Facebook and social networking and all that stuff, I see a movement. I see something that is like awesome and I wanna be a part of that. I wanna lead that charge, but I can't do it alone. That's why I started the Nerd Machine. I believe the Nerd Machine, and that's why you know, we have our robot as our kind of you know, symbol or symbolism. To me, it's like a, you know, a giant, Voltron meets Transformer meets whatever. It's if we all plug in, if we're all a part of it, you guys are all producers in this vision. You have to be. And and I appeal to you. I appeal to you as the public because if you don't get on board, if you say, hey, I love what you're doing, but I'd rather just get it for free, it dies. And you have to know that. In the next five years, as everything goes to a subscription model or it goes to a you know iTunes type of model, if you guys decide, eh, somebody else is going to pay for it, I'm just going to enjoy it, it will die. But if you, if you support it, it will live. And then it won't, it won't, you know, then two million people, by the way, can keep a show on the air. Because by the way, two million people is a lot of people. And we have, we probably have 10 million people who watch it, you know, uh, worldwide all together. But the television model is a live viewing model, as we know, right? You know, the advertisers have commercials. They want you to watch their commercials. That makes sense. And when you're on DVR and you go blip, up, blip, up, and you're like all the way through it, that's not really watching it live, and advertisers know that. And the same thing with Hulu and, and all that stuff. That's why, I, and I never meant to burst anyone's bubble, I did an interview, uh, I think this last season, about kind of where we were at with the show and if we were going to come back or not. And I was trying, I'm, it, you're, it's, like a, it's like a Pentecostal church in here, right? You're just like waving yourself. This way is late. Oh, bro, yes, that's right. Come on. Um, but uh, it, it's warm, I know. We, we, uh, it's warm for us, too. Um, uh, but if, but if uh, where was I? <laughs> Pentecostal, church. uh, Pentecostal churches, right, exactly. Mm -hmm. Amen, brother, amen. <laughs> By the way, I do feel a little preachy right now, well. so I guess it's fitting. Um, but but we're bursting, yes, exactly. Yes, 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 exactly. So those are all great things. And by the way, networks and studios, they do, they do track that stuff. They do. Don't think it doesn't matter. Don't think your voice doesn't matter on some level. But, you know, Nielsen's and all that stuff. I mean, there are a lot of systems that I feel like in the next couple of years, we can show them that they're not as good as actually counting us as individuals. You we know can I mean? show. We can. <laughs> From the mountaintop. <laughs> um, so that's, that's what I believe in. That's, what I, that's why I wanted to start the Nerd Machine. If we all plug in and we all know that there's, we all have a responsibility. And if we can do that, I think we can change the world. We can change content. We can change technology. I want to make, I wanna make you know, fun like video game television show movies. I, I, I want to go fly around in space with Adam Baldwin and Nathan Fillion. And, you know, and, and maybe this guy. And go and go kill aliens and, and fly spaceships and, and and maybe you you can watch that you can just sit back and passively watch it like all the other shows that you've known and loved like in the sci-fi world or at any given time maybe your Xbox goes hey uh, pick up your controller if you want to participate in the fight and you go oh yeah you know what I, I want to be Adam Baldwin right now and I'm gonna pick that up and I'm gonna fly a spaceship around I'm gonna shoot these guys and you go through that and you finish a level and then the story picks up again I mean does that kind of sound cool to you guys does that sound like anyway that's the crazy stuff I dream about that's the kind of stuff that I want to do I want to make controllers for iPads and iPhones so I can actually play a first-person shooter without covering half the screen with my thumbs I mean that's that's what I want to do you know so, uh, oh, and yes, and I also want to keep acting. That would be fantastic. <laughs> thank you. Uh, let's see. Oh, yes, yes, I said yes. Oh, God, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you for your cooperation. All right. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. If you guys had the opportunity to work with someone you haven't had a chance to, who would it be and why? And you said that um, your favorite stunt to shoot was the balcony scene. Dave said he did most of it. 
How much of it did you actually get to do? Okay, hang on a second. Uh, if, you, if you guys didn't hear, uh, if you didn't hear what she said, she said Dave said that he did most of it, which is, I'm assuming, Dave Castillo, who is my stunt double on the show, a wonderful man and a habitual liar. So I think um, totally. everything he says you got to take with a grain of salt, first of all. Uh, no, He, he oh. claims he has a uh, fear of heights. Yeah, that's such I crap. I that's that is such... Crap. We've dangled him up like literally like 20 stories. Oh, I'm so scared. Um, uh, no, <laughs> Dave Castillo. Uh, Dave Castillo, I love you so much. He is such a rock star, honestly. I, I've been really blessed that from day one, Dave's gotten to be my stunt double. And we have such an incredible stunt department and, and, uh, and a fight coordinator on our show. They are just second to none. Our only Emmys that we've ever won were Merit Yanka for our stunts. And it, it's been so cool, you know, like he is one of the nicest guys in the world, Merit Yanka, and he deserves every accolade he ever gets, and as well as everyone in our department. So I'll, st I'll start with that. Um, now I'll go back to Dave being a liar. Sure. <laughs> so, no, he, he absolutely did. The, normally with that kind of stuff, there are just, <laughs> there's just like liability issues. And uh, you, as the actor, when it's like, you know, a 10-story fall or whatever, they're like, so listen, we're probably just gonna green screen if that's okay. Did that even make sense? Probably not. We're probably just going to green screen or something like that. Uh, but I, I, can't, I fight him as much as I can because... He does. <laughs> he does. I was, it was from the very beginning. I was like, I, I can do this. I said, yeah, yes, we know. You sit down. Someone get, someone get, him, a, someone get him a coffee or whatever like that. Dave, hop up on the building. Yeah. Quick, quick. He's no, not I can't. Go, I, Dave, I, now. Dave, go. I, oh, no, I can't. I'm afraid of heights. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, Dave. <laughs> But yeah, Dave, I mean, Dave was a, uh, he obviously did the majority of that stunt, for sure. I mean, that, uh, us falling, that wasn't, that wasn't me and Adam. I wish it could have been. It was, it was on an awesome wire. It was on a descender. And, you know, we pick up where, where you know, we're in the water. Am I blowing the reality of it for you? Did you all hope that it would be me and Adam actually doing that? It's not real blood either. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, what was the first part of your question? I, I feel like you had another part. Oh, to work with anybody. Right, right, right. Uh, uh, Josh, you want to start that? Uh, oh. Bruce Campbell would be awesome, yeah. Stop putting words in my mouth. Come on. Oh. No, I was just about to say that. Um, uh, yeah, yeah, I'll go. Bruce Campbell. <laughs> Mark? James Earl Jones. Oh, wow. <laughs> Moonlight Graham. <laughs> Field of Dreams? No. Field of Dreams? No. I, I feel like my references are just dying today. They're yeah, like, I'm trying. Did you hear my I'm voice at all deep when I said it? <laughs> uh, Adam? Morgan Freeman and the Cohen brothers. Oh, yeah. dude. Yeah. Let's work that out. Let's work that out. Maybe you guys could like narrate a penguin thing or something like that. Yeah. <laughs> Anyone seen Through the Wormhole? Anybody been watching yeah. that show? Yeah. It's just amazing. I awesome. highly recommend Through the Wormhole with Morgan Freeman, executive producing, great narration. Just love that stuff. That, that's not, uh, I like that. I, like that. I, 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 would, I would have to say Tom Hanks, honestly. Tom Hanks has been... Uh, yeah, for Tom Hanks. Uh, I won't even do a reference because I'm sure you guys won't care. Um, <laughs> I worked with but, him twice. You've worked with Tom Hanks twice? Get out of here. <laughs> come back, come back. And now the star of Chuck. Um, yeah, I just, he's been my idol ever since I was a kid. I just think he's so awesome and, you know, came out of the comedy world and then, you know, made people laugh and laugh and laugh for years and then able to, you know, make people cry. I was 12 years old and I, I went to see Forrest Gump. We were in Lake Tahoe on vacation and I remember, I think as soon as, as soon as the moment in, in Forrest Gump where Forrest is meeting Little Forrest for the first time and Little Forrest is watching Sesame Street and he's over with Jenny and he starts breaking down. He's like, is he like me? I lost my crap so hard. <laughs> I'd never cried in a movie before. Now, obviously, I'm a giant crybaby. But, uh, but I, cr I cried. My parents thought something was wrong with me. I cried from then all the way to the end of the movie, all the way out of the theater, all the way through the parking lot and into the van. And my parents, I, you know, like at first, they're like, oh, honey, it's okay, you know? And, and I keep saying, like, I wish he was real. I wish he was real. Because to me, I was like... This guy is so pure, he's so awesome, he's so innocent, like, he just cares about people, and there's no, there's no guile about Forrest Gump, you know? There was like, everything was just, 
Like his word was his word. He told Bubba they were going to start a company together, and Bubba died, and he still gave all the money to his mom. Like that, that kind of stuff, right? And it just killed me. I was like, I wish this guy was real. I wish I could meet him. And I just cried and cried. And of course, you know, when everybody dies, and it's you know, really, really sad. And, and so what started with my parents as, oh, honey, it's okay, became in the van, would you just shut up? <laughs> would you just please shut up? It's a so, movie. It's a movie. <laughs> So Tom Hanks, yeah, for sure. Uh, Tom, wait, Tom Hanks has a reputation for going into auditions from the from the very beginning of his career, being treating everyone as a performance and putting the utmost preparation and dedication into even the smallest little read through, smallest little audition, which is a testament to his his work ethic and why he's been so successful over the years. He he creates his opportunities through preparation, and Zach does the same damn thing. He'll show up and be completely prepared, over-prepared for a lot of these uh, scenes that we're doing. And it pisses us off a lot sometimes. Because you know, we, like, we like to just settle in and have our coffee. But <laughs> Which is why, also why he's such a great, great director. So you're following in good, good footsteps there. Oh, thanks, buddy. I appreciate that. Uh, oh, thank you very much. Well, he's, a good, he's a great leader. You know? uh, let's, let's take one from over here right now. Yes, you in the green. Um, one of the things that I really admire about you, Zach, is your faith. And you're in, and Thanks very um, much. Thank you. And I, I, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to know that working in your specific industry, I know that's got to be this kind of kind of difficult with your faith. Um, I wanted to know what kind of challenges you had to face and how how you managed to get through that. Uh, excellent question. Um, uh, you know, I, I've, I've 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 been asked this before, and uh, and I've given the same answer. So if you've heard it before, I'm sorry, but. Um, you know, I look as as far as faith and spirituality and stuff are concerned. I you know I think a lot of people kind of put this thing on Hollywood. It's like, oh, it's this deep dark place and has all these challenges. And by the way, sure it does. It, it's got challenges that are unique to to Hollywood, I suppose. But anywhere you live in the world, whatever your vocation is, you're going to deal with temptations and challenges and things like that that are going to test your metal and test your faith and you know whatever your whatever you call to be your your higher being or power and you know. Um, I think, I think the, the most important thing to remember is that we all, we all deal with challenges and we all deal with struggles and we're, we're called to be love and light in each other's lives, you know? So if you feel like... <laughs> don't you touch me. <laughs> if you feel like you're not, if you feel like uh, you're not loving and you're not shining and... Uh, because I think we do. I think we all kind of feel that sometimes. And by the way, we're not always going to. There's plenty of days where I'm in a funk. I'm like, I'm, I'm not digging life. And I've got a lot of stuff on my plate and a lot of, a lot of responsibilities on my shoulders. And I don't want to grow up. I'm, I'm 30 years old and I want to be 12 and with my Nintendo. I mean, that's what I want to do. But you do grow up, unfortunately, in some ways, you know. And you got to take those responsibilities on. But that's, that's also great. And that's also part of the journey. Anyway, I feel like I'm tangenting here. But the point is, um, I, don't look at, I don't look at different... Uh, I don't think that I have any more of a challenge necessarily because I think God made me who I am and he put me where I am. And he wouldn't have done that if he didn't know what he was doing. So um, I'm happy to be there, you know? Uh, yeah. Oh, cheers. Come on, where's that Pentecostal voice? On the mountain. Mm -hmm. I, yeah. I tweet, I tweet. <laughs> you tweet. Yeah. Yes, uh, he does. Let's go. Uh, let's go with the lucky ones uh, in the, the red shirt there, in the white hat and the red shirt. Our, our lucky group of friends who got in last minute, yeah. Is that, is that Joe? Yes. Joe, hey, man. I called you Tom earlier. You're like, it's yeah. Joe. I'm like, all right. Uh, again, thanks for being so gracious with everything. Oh, for um, sure, man, yeah. It's just awesome. Um, I know they, you guys kind of joked about it yesterday at the signing, but are there any plans for a movie? Um, I, no, not that I know of, no. Uh, but I don't know a lot of things. So, <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know. You know, look, I, I think that... I think that Serenity was such a cool way of being able to give the, the Firefly fan base uh, yet another installment of that story. And, uh, and I wish more shows would do that. I think sometimes it depends. You know, if you're, if you're on a hit show and it goes like 10 years, I think all the fans are like, okay, we've had enough. Thanks very much. We don't, I don't know if we need a feature film. Um, but with something like Firefly that, you know, had the limited run that it had and the fan base that you guys were, that's yeah, really awesome to have a feature film like that. Five years is a good long time to tell a story. I don't know what the story would be if we did a feature. But, I mean, I'm definitely open to the conversation of it. I just, I, we're basically making a mini movie every week anyway. So, we, I think we could do it. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm, you pick. You, you guys pick. You pick. It. Thanks. 
Hi. Um, just want to say I love you guys. I uh, love watching Chuck. Thank you. Um, my question is, while you've been on break, have you been working on anything, movies or animation or anything? Or is anything coming up that you're working on outside of Chuck? I've just got a barista position at Starbucks that... <laughs> I make a mean vanilla latte, let me tell you. Uh, no, I don't know. Adam, you want to discuss? I've uh, been to a couple of conventions. I spent 10 days in France riding with some wounded warriors uh, in the ride to recovery. I got, I got to see... I got to see on bicycle farmland and the battlefields of Normandy and the American Cemetery there at uh, Omaha Beach. If you can ever go there, it's one of the most profound experiences you'll ever have because literally there are 30,000 gravestones up and down the beach lined up. And then you can walk down to the beach and see what these guys had to, had to, had to do to get up and over this big bluff. I mean, if you've ever been to Santa Monica or any of the bluffs along California, it's like landing, getting through low tide muck obstacles all under machine gun and mortar and rocket fire and uh, artillery. These guys, I mean, 30,000 died in one day, and go. And then we got to hang around in Paris and eat escargot and drink wine. <laughs> so it was a profound experience. Otherwise, no work, no, no barista or anything like that. Mark? Uh, I went to London for a con, and then, uh, but I've been doing a lot of stand-up. Me and Scott Krinsky did a couple shows together. and um, <laughs> So just basically working on stand-up. Josh? My tan. <laughs> Which it's looks swarthy. fantastic, swarthy. by the way, really. I think... Uh, no, come on. No, it's not really that. no, I, no I've, on, I've just been... Uh, I, I, nothing. Didn't you, didn't, didn't, you move, didn't you move? I did move. Yeah. I'll, gi I'll give everybody my address. Uh, if you haven't gotten anybody else, I, I know. You're probably like, well, come on, waiting outside, honking. Come on! Let's go. Oh, he moved. Oh. Uh, no, I did. I uh, I wrote. I did. You know, so like, like Zach says. I mean, I I try to make my own stuff too. So I I, uh, I wrote and shot. Uh, I think my brother, um, actually. So uh, like a short film, um, which should be just awful. Uh, and that's it. And then my tan. So Zachary, you're so freaking funny, dude. You make no, me no, laugh no. so much. He, yeah, isn't he so funny? He's ridiculous. <laughs> not not that you get, not that you guys aren't not that you guys aren't. I was just having a bromance moment over here. Uh, it's no. my bromance. <laughs> it's, uh, it's, you did. Your old not. bromance, my new bromance. It is, you did. It is you now. stole. It you now. stole it. By the way, you can have him. All right. <laughs> I am. And you can have and him. And by the way, I'm just a tramp. <laughs> oh, all right. Here you go. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Oh, they'll so be, much better. They'll be pooping in each no, other's trailers fine. in no time. <laughs> <laughs> What's that smell? Oh, it's my hand lotion. Good. I, 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 I'm a lady, aren't I? I'm the lady. I know. I know. I know. Get off. Well, 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 well. Speaking of moving, I moved recently too, and I was uh, I just got a text from a neighbor out front of our house. We had this little plastic uh, castle that had been there for 20 years, and. Uh, He's so funny. Let's see, where is it? Where is it? He says, um, dude, God, I'm lame. Where is it? I should I should have said have some of those. Have the flash ready, Adam. Have the flash ready. I know. I do that to people. Who are like, oh, I'm going to keep walking. You can't take my picture. But he said, he goes, breaking. Plastic Castle no, no longer sitting outside the house after nearly 20 years. And... Uh, the, this the, we had this little plastic castle, and all the little nannies and, and moms would bring their little babies there, and because our kids are grown now, so they would they would play in this plastic castle. So we we got this extra time of watching kids grow up and play, and little two and three year olds just slide down. So now we we moved it, but that reminded me of uh, the moving thing, and uh, oh, See, wow. And this is how it pertains to Chuck. Um, <laughs> we have a plastic... No, we don't. We don't. Um, let's see here. What, how much time? What, what are we out on time, by the way? Oh, we're long. Oh, yeah. It's 15. Now. We started at 9.20, right? 
Um, how long do you guys want to go? <laughs> it's kind of warm in here, right? I know. Um, well, oh, oh, actually, let's say we'll go till 10.30. So it's like we'll do an hour and 10 minutes, if that's okay with you guys. And then, uh, all right. I'll, I'll take that as an okay. Um, also, really quick, I, I also wanted to tell you guys. So I'm going to do a signing afterwards, and I can't, I, I can't wait to sign something for all you guys. And then, what is that noise? Is that, oh, oh, no worries. Don't worry about it. It's okay. <laughs> I thought that was my raspy voice doing weird things. <laughs> or my butt, I don't know. Um, but, uh, so I'm gonna do a signing afterwards, and then, um, but for the, for the sake of like wanting to spend quality time with you guys, and also do, do pictures, and also just kinda spend some time talking to you, I'd love to be able to break those three things into, into three, th three different things. So we'll do a signing, and I won't be able to spend a ton of time being like getting to know you during that, but we'll get everyone through and get signatures. Then what I'd love to do, if you guys are down for the idea, is I'd love to just be at the photo booth, either upstairs or downstairs, right? Because that way, because that way, instead of having a, you know cameras and all that stuff, literally, it'll, I mean, you know, I'll feel like a cardboard cutout, but whatever. <laughs> but we can snap and they print them right there, so you can all have some, right? I think that's a pretty efficient way to take some pictures. And then, and then after that, and then after all that stuff, or, or however this stuff plays out, but we'll have a, somebody telling you how we're going to do stuff. But uh, we're having the nerd brunch today, and I don't know how many of you guys are. Yeah, yeah. And, and it's just a, it's just to hang out and kind of you know close out Comic Con together and you know have some food and all that. So what I'd love to do, and I don't know what these guys will be out or whatever, but I'll just kind of meander through, and I'd love to just you know at your table just say hi. If you can, please, this would help me out. Stay at your tables. I'll come and, and t I'll come to you and say hi. If you get up, then it starts becoming kind of a congestion thing, and then I'm, I'm, I might have to go run away or something like that. And I, and I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. So is that cool? Does that sound good for everybody? Awesome, awesome, awesome. You, <laughs> you have literally been like it, hand up for an hour straight. Like, I will not give up. And you're wearing a nerd machine shirt, so hey, a little bias. Go ahead. What is? Your, oh, let's get you a microphone. Hi. Hi. One of our Hi. lovely volunteers. Oh, right Hi. behind. Yeah, there you go. Boom. Hi, my name's Andy. Hi, Andy. I'm actually, Dragon Girl on the Nerd Machine chat. Well, hi, Dragon Girl on the Nerd Machine chat. My question is actually from Haley. Oh, Haley. Is Haley watching right now? She's trying to. She couldn't get a stream earlier, so oh, she boo. might not be. Oh, boo. Boo and a half. But she wants me to ask you, what's the weirdest thing or place you've ever been asked to sign? <laughs> wow. Wow. Where'd you sign? <laughs> um <laughs> I wish I, I wish I had something funnier. I uh I, I actually have you ever had like the well endowed woman with the like <laughs> You know, put it right here because I've never had that. No, I, no. I've never had that. I've, I've but I'm wait, but I'm open. <laughs> I'm, I, 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 even though it's so weird and sick and twisted, I kind of want. I keep hoping for the Talladega Nights moment where somebody wants me to sign their baby. I just think that that would <laughs> sign my baby. Sign my baby. Well, all right. Um, no, I, I don't know. I've not really had like the weird, you know, I mean, I've, I, there's been other weird things. People have proposed marriage to me over Twitter, which I don't, you know, it's like, how well do you know someone really? <laughs> like the, you, the a guy or a girl, both. I don't know. Sure. <laughs> um, uh, <laughs> the giggle fest. Um, yeah, it's like, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I, well, I watch stuff like The Bachelor. I'm like, how do you get married at the end? You've actually been on like, I don't know, 10 dates. I've never really watched The Bachelor. But the point is, <laughs> I love Chris Harrison. Love you, Chris. Uh, but like even that, like, so how do you go and propose marriage via Twitter or Facebook? I just, it's, it's fantastic. Maybe it's worked for somebody, though. Who knows? Maybe like two random people in the world were like, I just like their Facebook profile. <laughs> I like their latest, their latest update. I'm going to marry them. <laughs> And they've been happily married for 10 years. That's great. All thanks to Zuckerberg. Um, yeah, so I... <laughs> I should just do everything. I should just end every sentence with... Meh, 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 meh. <laughs> so much more entertaining. Uh, crazy place to sign. Uh, you, you are nodding your head. You've, you've signed flesh before? Because how does it sign? 
I've signed plastic and T-shirts, and yeah. right? we've signed game t T-shirts are a bitch. Yeah. I hate so the worst. Yeah. The worst. Too. It's no. just hard. They're hard. You got to stretch them. You got to get a hot thing. Get a bright, light, light touch. A light touch. Yeah, you really just is. paint it on there. Just paint yeah. it. Mm-hmm. Just, yeah. Yeah. Uh, like a, like a, a calligrapher. Uh, like a calligrapher. Yeah. yeah. Uh, you just got to be careful when you're signing skin not to use the fine points. You want to use the uh, the wider tipped pens, the better for skin. Yeah. You have some experience. <laughs> The fine points become a tattoo is what that becomes. Isn't it? Well, it can it can penetrate. You don't want to you don't want to penetrate the skin. Tattoo. You don't want to draw blood. Don't even, you never want to draw no, blood. No, no, that's yeah, all that's, that's all bad. bad. Mark, quick, yeah. Mark, quick. <laughs> Mark, <laughs> what have you signed, Mark? <laughs> T-shirts. Oh, okay, good. Okay, good, 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 good. Uh, let's go back over here real quick. You are. I'm getting an indication down here. Who? Which one? Oh, hi, darling. Yes, please. Yes. You're getting a lot of you're getting a lot of question time. You got one at the panel too. I did. I did. And you came all the way from Jolly Old England, didn't you? I did. Yeah. And now, I think the people in the UK and the rest of the world wouldn't forgive me if I didn't represent them and say, seeing as how successful Nerd HQ has been, are you going to take it global? Do you want me to take it global? Yeah. Do you, Do you guys think this has been a successful enough thing and a special enough thing where we could do this in other parts of the world or around the country? Then no, no, I won't take it anywhere. I mean, uh, no, I'd love to, honestly. Look, I, this has all been a really magical experience for me, honestly. I feel like I've been blessed. We've been really, really blessed with how this thing is pulled together. And it's beyond you know, my work or Dave's work or Courtney's work or all the volunteers and, and all of our sponsors and everything. It's our first year doing it. And I, and I, I had no idea if it was going to succeed or not. I believed in it. I wanted it to. And the fact that we've had this response, that we've had these panels, and then I get to talk to you guys, and I hear like, man, this has been so great, and we get to hang out with you guys and just, you know, have conversations, you know, and then it's all for a greater good, and, and the parties are fun, and the video games are awesome. I, I can't even tell you, you know? Like, we're really privileged. We get to go to E3 every year and just nerd out like crazy, and, uh, and I wanted to be able to give you guys that. I wanted to be able to say, hey, you guys are flying out here anyway. Play some games that you didn't get to play or, or hang out and play with some tech that you never got to play with, you know? Because I think it's all the same world and we should all be able to have that access. And So if you guys feel like it's been cool, I'd love to take it to various places in the, in the States and around the world. And if it continues in that world that people still feel touched and they still feel special, then, you know, amen. Awesome. I'm, a, I'm totally down for the vision, so yeah. Oh, thanks, yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Robo Nerdicorn, green. <laughs> Thanks for buying a shirt. <laughs> Absolutely. And um, I was just going to say, I'm the mother of the adorable one, so thank you so I, much for answering her question. I was she assuming as such. You're sitting yeah, right you next to her, and you're both wearing Robo Nerdicorn shirts. I could have just brought shirts. her in to get attention. You never oh, know. You could have done that. <laughs> Did you? No. No. <laughs> no. Okay. Um, no, my question, so there's kind of been talk about future directions, obviously, that everyone wants to take, but um, in addition to who you guys wanted to work with, what kind of projects would you like to do? Do you guys want to take a change now if you're going you know, with your future acting gigs? You want to stick with action? Does Adam maybe want to try a drama? Um, <laughs> you know, with no action, or something like that. And then Zach, for you, would that also include music? Uh, well, well uh, why don't we start down here and I'll and I'll finish it by not by totally avoiding the question. <laughs> so good at that. Um, I would love to do whatever comes my way. I mean, I, I, I love making people laugh. Um, I'm terrible at it, but I try to... <laughs> that was it. Again. Don't. See, that was it. Don't do that. Don't. <laughs> well, you, you, you can do are it for, funny. Do it for you. You're fun. All right, thank you. But I'm not really see. a victim. I, when no. I say I'm a victim, that's funny. Oh, I see. You just I really, all, am, you I'm really a are a victim, I'm a victim, so it's not funny. <laughs> Just my, my whole, the whole lot in life. Just everything I have to bear, just being in this body. You're, you're just my physical yes. sort of, the, the, it's, no, it's tough. Uh, so yes, no, I, I, I would, <laughs> stroke. <laughs> um, I would love to do uh, anything and everything. Um, as far as acting is concerned, it's just so much fun. And, and I love being challenged. And, and uh, so, yeah, uh, I'm, so action is the, is the next one on my bucket list. Oh, God. <laughs> Have you been stretching? You'll help me where you've been stretching. You? <laughs> oh, we'll stretch you out. Yeah, I've been watching yeah. stretching videos. <laughs> YouTube stretching. I, I learned a lot. I didn't do any of it. Adam Baldwin stretching you out is <laughs> <laughs> the last thing I needed on my mind. There we go. There we go. Yeah. 
Oh, oh no, God, no. Please, God. Please, God, don't. Adam, what do you think? I love Westerns. I love to get the oh, yeah. Westerns. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Anybody see True Grit, the, the remake? Yeah. Uh, if you haven't seen it, it's just great. Pick it up. It's, it's, uh, that's the kind of thing I like to do. You get to be gritty and dirty and nasty and smoke cigars and ride horses and shoot guns and... Amen, there, brother. Much, there, there's, there's that character Come again. Mm-hmm. Sneaking in. <laughs> Riding a horse into town. <laughs> Man, a few words. <laughs> By the way, that, there's your, there's your uh, Morgan Freeman Coen Brothers film right there. Yeah. Do, a, do a Western with the Coens. Okay. Mark. Um, you know, as an actor, you want to do everything, like, like Josh says. You want to be able to just float from one thing to the next. Um, I, I think, personally, I'm a better dramatic actor than I am a comedic actor. So, um, you know, I'd like to do probably a little more drama, but, you know, my agents, they see me do stand-up and go, no, no, you're funny. <laughs> it's like, well, but I can act. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, heck yeah. Yeah. Um, I, I, yeah, I, I, I'd love to do everything. I want to do everything. I want to do action and comedy and drama and romance. And I mean, honestly, I want to do all the things we do in Chuck. I just, you know, uh, but stretch I, them out a little. Stretch them out a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> just stretch them out. Yeah, let them all. Give them all a little room to breathe. Stretch them out. Stretch them out. Oh, come on, come on, Adam. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Um, calm down. You calm down. Um, uh, and uh, yeah, I mean, I. I, I the schedule on Chuck has been pretty intense uh, for the last the last four years, and, and going into the fifth, it's it's a it's a gnarly show to do, honestly. Um, I our cast and crew are just rock stars. We're, what we're able to accomplish in seven days, you really need like thirty seven to, to do. You know, you need twelve or something like that. Um, but again, you know, ad revenue and all that stuff and budget cuts, and but they still make it happen. They're just they're miracle workers. So it's been an honor being able to, you know, be in the trenches with these guys for all these years. I would like a break from that, a little, just a little bit, just a little bit. When I did Less Than Perfect, I, you know, the, on, a, on a sitcom, it's highway robbery that you're getting paid. It's so, it's so much easier. I mean, you, you know, you stroll in at like 9 o'clock, oh, where's my omelet? Awesome. And you, you know, have a little omelet, and then you, you get to rehearse with your whole cast all day long. You're all there every day. It's like a play, you know? And then you get to shoot in front of a live audience and it's really symbiotic and you know, you're feeding them and they're feeding you and it's funny and, and, and you work for three weeks and then you have a week off. It's like, what, why, why? okay, great, I'll take that. Um, but uh, yeah, I just, I, I'd, like to, I'd like to just have something where I can just have a lot of fun. Like we've been having fun on Chuck and I really wanna make people laugh. I just, you know, I wanna make people cry. Uh, <laughs> In the, be- in the best of ways, in the best of ways. I mean, I'm not going to go just punch somebody for that. What about a musical for you? Oh, right. You wanted to know about music, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. If that was for me, I don't know. I was assuming. Um, uh, yeah, I'd, lo- I'd love to do music, too. I, uh, I grew up doing a lot of musical theater, and I, I love singing, uh, and w- which I won't do right now because I have no voice. Unless you can think of something that's really, like, smoky. Smoky. <laughs> The Biltmore Garage wants a grand. <laughs> any Tom Waits? Any Tom Waits right, come no. to mind? Yeah. All right, we're just gonna put the kibosh on that right now. Uh, but yeah, I, I, I'd love to. I'd love to incorporate singing more into my career, whether it's just singing and doing like some albums or something like that. I, I, I was thinking about doing like a Christmas album or something because I love Christmas songs so much. You know? Would you guys buy that? All right. Well, let's do it. We have time for. Three more questions. Three more questions. Three more questions. All right. I want the most eager beavers. Who is like dying, just dying, just dying, just dying. Actually, even better, even better. Who would nominate? Who would? Oh, over here. We have one over here. I would love for you to ask a question. It's a silly question. Oh, we love silly questions. Okay. On the show, you got, well, first, thank you. I know everyone said that, but wow. So. You're welcome. um, Thank you. on the show, you guys were just you and um, you were playing a game, and you were talking about on a desert island what um, food you would have. Yeah, what type of sandwich? So I need to yeah. know what sandwich each of you would choose. Mm. And I used to work at Subway, so it's very important. Oh, I did. That's where I met my husband. First of all, uh, <laughs> how is that a silly question? <laughs> oh, sorry. Um, <laughs> just in case. Don't we all think Thank about you. that <laughs> daily? Uh, I, I, well, I'm assuming one of you is going to say a tuna roni. <laughs> I'm assuming, but maybe not. No. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Let me think about it for a second. Go ahead. Let me, let me, uh, just, 
you have one, a sandwich ready to go. You're on the, for the rest of your life on a desert island, yeah. you're going to yeah. have a yeah. Subway sandwich? Oh, I don't know if it's no, a happy meal. No, it, it, it could be any sandwich. Uh, but we love hmm. Subway. <laughs> well, I. It's delicious. Isn't it? Uh, I like tuna roni. Eat I like fresh. tuna sandwiches. Eat but fresh, on a people. desert island, you don't have a. Uh, cold storage, so you don't want to go with the tuna for too long there. Uh, <laughs> mm, salami, I guess, would be would be the one that keeps the best. So just salami. I love that you're thinking about this so deeply. <laughs> and like a complete. If I wait a minute. No, survivalist so way, I'm, right? You know, I guess I can make. A, I guess so I can so whittle a, a spear. Volleyball and salami, I can All do right. that. And I, right. if I was to harpoon a seagull, I could. Uh, then use its innards as a uh, sort of jelly paint. Oh, I don't. I'm a, I don't. I'm not saying that. I, that's not me. That's him. If if Bear Grylls said that, you'd be like, yeah, get the seagull, yeah. <laughs> because he's joking about it. It's all oh, the poor seagull. Uh, they're like sky rat. Uh, they're Mark, like what, sky what rat. Sandwich. Uh, BLT. BLT. Fantastic. Because I like all things bacon. Yeah. I like it because it's kind of healthy. It's like yes, you you get some you get some lettuce and tomato and some just straight some porkity pork goodness. Hats. Just yeah, it's <laughs> pork goodness. What do you think? Uh, PB and J probably. Um, oh yeah. Sell out. Um, and because you guys are long talkers, this has to be the last question. Oh. Oh man. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, all right, I got to finish the sandwich first. Um, uh, <laughs> I was so enthralled with your answers, I wasn't even thinking about mine. Uh, Gosh, I, I, I don't know. Like, uh, tuna melt. <laughs> that would be that would be disgusting on a tropical island. I would just be like, oh, what am I? It's like, oh god. Might as well just pour some half and half on it. Like, what do you? Right? That's gross. Um, no, I don't. I, there's a little diner I go to all the time called Vivian's, and I, I they have a sandwich there called a Jeff, and it's like chicken breast with turkey bacon, and so it'd be that one. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, last question, right, right there. Yeah. Well, you had your hand raised, didn't you? I'm stand up I'm short. I'm used to stand up. My question is, if you could have a theme song play for all of you, every time you entered the room, <laughs> a song that represented you, what song would you have play when you came in? This I do think about all the time. Because okay. <laughs> shouldn't we all? <laughs> um... Uh, <laughs> obviously, I don't think about it all the time. Uh, uh, I, I like really like upbeat music, uh, and not that it has any pertinence to my life whatsoever. But I think OPP would just be awesome. <laughs> More just like the bass track, and I'd, you know, bum, 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 you know, I don't know. I just think that would be fun. Because every time you walk into the room, everybody, no matter what they're doing, they're like bummed in their cubicle, or whatever. Like, oh, I feel good right now. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, let's start dancing. Mark? I've never thought about that. Really? No. Shouldn't we all have our own theme music? I mean, I probably should, but, right? you know, it would have to be something Sam Cooke, I think. Uh, bring it on home to me, maybe? All right. <laughs> I'll bring it home to you. <laughs> I don't... And then I like the little oboe that goes. Yeah, that uh, I changed my answer to hit. Yeah, yeah. I, I I, I'm, that's it. I can't. I can't even. How am I going to respond after that? Yeah. Um, I, I don't know. I, what is it? The Imperial, Imperial March. March is, of course. Of course. Doesn't, it, doesn't it always? Don't yeah, it, I, I know. Right? That happened when I walked in. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. <laughs> that or the Muppet Babies theme song. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> One of the two. They're very, they're very, it's tough to pick. Um, we've come to the end of the Q&A. Knock that off. Did you guys have a good time? <laughs> have you been enjoying yourself so far at the Nerd HQ? Whoa. 
That was significantly less enthusiastic than the first question. Have you been enjoying yourself at the Nerd HQ? Thank you. Thank you guys again so much for coming out. Thank you for sitting through an hour and 15 minutes of us blathering on about ridiculousness. I hope you enjoyed it. I, I hope you guys hang out. I'm going to be here to sign and picture and all that stuff. Uh, thank you so much. I, I, I don't have a, to a total tally right now, but just so you know, I think over the course of these four days, we've raised somewhere in the vein of $40,000 for Operation Smile. That's helping a lot of people. That's helping a lot of people. One more big thank you to Mark and Adam and Josh. We're going to take some pictures for you guys right now. We'll just stand here and be really awkward and stand and smile. And you can all take pictures. And then we're going to let these guys get out of here. And then if, uh, I'll go sit down. and oh, I might take a little breather first. And then I'll sit down. And then we'll have some more fun. Okay, bye.